Many years ago, when I worked at Tesco's in the internal audit department, I applied for a job as a commercial buyer. And I interviewed very well, and the, the guy was really impressed with uh, my knowledge of the business because I'd been around most aspects of it. But he never gave me the job because he said I didn't demonstrate commercial awareness. And that label plagued me for a lot of my corporate career. And it was only when I became a business coach working with small businesses, I realized that actually uh, I have all the commercial awareness I need to help these companies grow. And when I boiled it down, commercial awareness came down to just four things that need to be considered in any decision or idea that you're exploring for your company. The first thing is, is there's a market. So any decision you're making has to be considered in the context of how does it change the dynamics of how you, your company interacts with its marketplace. The second thing is economics, is how does this decision impact the economics of the business in terms of margin, sales, and importantly, but often forgotten, cash flow. And the third dynamic is the customer experience or the customer journey. So how will this decision affect how many customers will join you once they joined you and that will stay with you and hopefully will even advocate you versus how many customers will leave as a result of this decision? And the fourth dynamic is the, the structure of the business itself. So how does this decision impact the people, the systems, the assets and the data that you both have and need in order to drive the business forward? So a well-rounded commercial decision and therefore demonstrating good commercial awareness just comes as a result of a, of a rounded consideration of all of those four things. So if you're ready to step up your game as a business leader, go to my website, sixcentsbusiness.com, and you can subscribe to download my free ebook, The Leader in You, where you'll see these and some more ideas explained to you that can really help you drive your business forward. And secondly, if you wanna stay in this conversation, pop over to Facebook and join my business page, Six Sense Business. And I hope to speak to you all again real soon.